No, I didn't know it was going to be a historic speech. Um, that wasn't the goal. I just needed to tell the truth as a black mother, as a black woman, and as a woman who was extremely frustrated and hurt after traveling through many cities, um, dealing with families who've lost their children because of the same violence that we saw in the video with George Floyd. We are in a state of emergency. Black people are dying in a state of emergency. The words on this t-shirt um, are still relevant in this moment because they've been relevant for over 400 years. In order to understand the speech that um, I gave in Minneapolis when George Floyd was killed, you have to first uh, come on the journey of where I was coming from. Uh, I got a call from attorney Benjamin Crump asking me and the Until Freedom family to go to Louisville, Kentucky, uh, because Breonna Taylor had been killed and there wasn't enough attention um, about her case, about the situation that happened to her. Uh, I dealt with her family's pain, the community's pain. Um, when we were about to leave Louisville, um, we got a call that we needed to look at a video. Immediately, I saw a police officer kneeling on the neck of a black man, and I turned away. I refused to watch the video, but I saw the emotion that came over my entire team. Um, and so I think when I arrived in Minneapolis, um, my heart was broken. I was asked to speak. It was really quick. Uh, and all I had was my thoughts and my pain and my rage. And um, I just spoke from my heart. I told the truth. Um, and not just Black America, but people all over the world contacted me to say that um, what I said on that day, either it was exactly how they feel, or it gave them a uh, cause to sit still and really listen and try to learn more. Allies are so important. Those who ran with Ahmad, those who stood for Brianna, those who kneeled for George Floyd, they have begun to understand that there is a crisis, that there is a situation happening with black people that has to be addressed. It's not okay to sit by and do nothing.